for, for this conference, there was one line in there that, that you should take away and, and you should understand. It said, I went to the United States Navy College of Command and Staff. So you, if you ask why is a soldier standing in front of all of you assembled to discuss maritime security, I started my naval education in Newport, Rhode Island. Um, actually, I began my, my introduction to the Navy with my father, who was a, a sailor, a naval officer in, in World War II. Um, I think secretly uh, he always wished that I had chosen the Navy over, over the Army, uh, but he never, he never told me that directly, but I sometimes got that, that feeling. Um, people ask me sometimes, why is this conference important? Why does United States Africa Command care about maritime security in, in Africa? And I would, I would tell you uh, uh, that it, it's, it, it is based in our two underlying principles. Uh, that, I, that I think are important for United States Africa Command. The first uh, is simply that a safe, stable, and secure Africa is in the best interest of the United States of America. We, we are an American command. Uh, we do things that are in the best interests of the United States of America. And Africa, maritime Africa in this instance, being safe, stable, and secure is in our best interest. Why, why is that? Well, you, you've seen all the statistics. You know that 90% of global trade uh, is, uh, is transported over the seas. It's vitally important, not only for my nation, but for all of yours as well, uh, that we have safe operating uh, areas in the maritime domain of Africa. Uh, part of that, I think, also is, uh, is a growing awareness that Africa operates primarily in the maritime domain. We don't think about that very often. We think of Africa as a large landmass with large uh, land-centric operations. But the truth of the matter is that Africa's future, its economic vitality, rests with maritime security and the ability to export and import goods, and without adequate maritime security, that simply would not be possible. So that's the first reason why Africa Command cares about maritime security, is it's in the best interest of us and of all uh, that Africa be safe, stable, and secure. The second reason I think this, uh, the second underlying principle for all that we try to do at United States Africa Command is a recognition that in the long run, it is far better that Africans address African security challenges. Uh, that's what this conference is about. It is heartening, encouraging to see that most of the participants, almost all of the speakers, uh, those who are uh, conducting the, the real business of this conference are Africans. There's lots of us Americans and, and, and others, uh, uh, partners in, in, in other nations who have uh, important roles, but ultimately it will be the African states who decide what the right way ahead is, and it is the African states who will be responsible uh, for the implementation of the agreements and the, and the memorandum of understanding that are developed here. There's a significant role that others can play. Uh, U.S. Africa Command, the U.S. government is proud to be a part of that. But ultimately, it must be, it should be, uh, Africans responsible for addressing African security matters. So those two underlying principles, I, I think, say why we are here and, and why Africa Command is proud to, to sponsor uh, this particular conference. But it is important to note that it's not our conference. It's not Africa Command's conference. It's your conference. 
It's your opportunity uh, to discuss matters of concern to your individual states and also to your regional organizations. And I think that, to me, is what is truly extraordinary about this conference. We were speaking with, uh, with the senior participants a bit earlier this morning. It's difficult enough to get two nations to agree on a substantive matter on a bilateral basis. That's difficult to do. It's even more difficult to get a number of nations to come together and agree on an operating principle in a regional construct, such as the economic community of West African states or the economic community of Central African states, getting multiple nations together under a regional construct is a very difficult matter uh, indeed. The highest degree of complexity is to bring together more than one regional organization and get those two regional organizations under the direction of, a, of an overarching construct, in this case the African Union, and get those two regional organizations to agree to a set of principles and, a, and uh, operating uh, procedures. That to me is the, the very height uh, of uh, interoperability, uh, international and regional uh, cooperation to address mutually shared uh, security interests. I, I have to tell you I'm not aware of any other meeting such as this where so many nations come together under the umbrella of two regional uh, economic communities to address matters of mutual concern uh, with a, a difficult agenda, uh, but a, a very well-defined way ahead to address these, uh, these shared security concerns. And for that, I applaud you uh, for your participation. Each of you individually and your organizations, each of you from your states, and certainly uh, from the two economic communities in the African Union who are assembled here to address these these uh, very, very significant matters. Y you know that this will not be easy. Uh, there, there will be lots of uh, difficulties. Uh, there will be disagreement. There will be debate, discussion uh, as, as you move forward. That's okay. That's good. That's healthy. Uh, because each of us brings a different perspective to this, uh, to this conference. Uh, and the opportunity to listen to one another, to hear differing points of view, and then find areas of common agreement uh, where we, from which we can then move forward to find the overarching uh, 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 areas in which we can agree. So that's what I would ask you to do during this conference. Uh, you are going to hear some things probably that you don't agree with. We listen respectfully, we debate, uh, we, make our, we make our points, but, but keep in mind the end state. Uh, the end state of what we're seeking here, what you are seeking here, uh, is a, a process through which multiple states, two economic communities, can come together to address shared concerns. Uh, I'm very confident with all those who are assembled today in, in this conference that you will find, indeed, the opportunity uh, to do just that. It won't be easy, uh, but the people assembled here are the right team. From our perspective at United States Africa Command, we're glad to welcome you here at the Garmisch Partenkirchen. I think it is pretty interesting that we have a maritime conference about as far away from the sea as we possibly could have. It. Um, uh, maybe that will. Maybe this clear mountain air will be helpful in in in, in helping us uh, move through some of these difficult matters. Uh, but I, we are glad that you are here. This is a wonderful facility, uh, and, and I do note that we have allotted no time whatsoever for you to enjoy being here in Garmers Partenkirchen. I assume I assume that will be. Uh, in the, in the conference notes that we get back, that will be the first thing that people will, will say next time, give us at least a few hours 
uh, to go wander through the mountains uh, and through the towns and villages, and we will indeed uh, seek to do just that. Um, as we begin this conference, it would be appropriate to, to thank a, a number of, of people and organizations. And starting at the very top, we should thank the African Union. Uh, Commissioner, thank you very much for making the long trip to be here. We all know that without the support of the African Union, this conference would not have the meaning that it has and would not have um, the, the opportunity to make very significant change. It is nice to know when you begin a conference like this that the organization at the very top is supportive of, of, of the conference's agenda uh, and, uh, and issues. And, and the, the designation from the African Union of a task force uh, to address maritime security, I think, conveys the importance of the topic that you are about to discuss. Um, certainly, the, uh, the participation from the economic communities of Central African states and West African states uh, is, is vitally important. Uh, they are the two keystone organizations in this particular conference uh, in mapping the, the way ahead. We thank you uh, for your support and continuing participation to address uh, uh, security issues of mutual concern to all the nations involved. From the U.S. government side, we're very happy to have representation uh, from, our, from our State Department uh, from the Coast Guard, from the Department of Justice, uh, all of whom have important roles and ways to contribute uh, to this conference as we, as we find additional ways uh, to, to cooperate in the important area of maritime uh, security. Um, and, and finally, uh, the real sponsors of this uh, are as the Africa Center for Security Studies, a wonderful organization. Uh, that addresses uh, a number of, of, of very challenging security matters, and they, are, they have this unique ability to bring together uh, widely diverse groups from many different nations. And I don't know how you do it, uh, but, but you somehow have this calming influence on people uh, and, and get us to dis discuss matters that can sometimes be very volatile, sometimes be very emotional, but you always seem to find a good way ahead. And so many thanks to the Africa Center for Security Studies uh, as, as we move forward with this. As always, the supporting staff from Africa Command, from here at the Edelweiss, uh, support from the, the, the Marshall Center, which is adjacent uh, to this great facility, uh, all those, those in the booths behind us, you know, uh, from which this, uh, this conference could not occur without their great support uh, and magnificent work. I offer you my, my heartfelt thanks. Um, keep in mind the conference's objectives. We want to walk out of here uh, with some very concrete uh, decisions made. Memoranda of agreement and understanding ready to move forward. Uh, uh, draft agreements between uh, uh, between uh, on a bilateral basis. Uh, those, those are important deliverables. But I would tell you what I believe to be the most important product of this conference will be the interpersonal relationships that you develop while you are here in Garmisch-Partenkirchen. Um, it is those relationships that will endure far beyond this conference and afford you the opportunity to continue your discussions, to continue your collaboration and cooperation far beyond Garmisch. When you return to your agencies, when you return to your organizations, you return to your nations, uh, you will have a set of, of new friends uh, and new co-workers with whom you can now collaborate and, and help to solve some of these very difficult challenges that lay in front of, of all of us. So for me, the most important aspect of this conference is you, the participants that, that are here, and the interaction that will occur amongst this very talented, very diverse group that are assembled here in Garmisch-Partenkirchen.
thank you for making the opportunity or making the, the, the long trip uh, to Garmisch. I am confident that it will be worth your effort, and I am very, very confident that the outcomes of this conference will be long and enduring and beneficial to all. Thank you very much.